Hi guys, this is Coach Tyler here at CrossFit Acadiana in Bro Bridge this week, coming to you with another segment of Mindset Monday. And so the topic for today encompasses being present in the moment. So what does it mean to be present in the moment? That is the ability to forget about our past. That is our ability to not anticipate the future, but to be grateful in the moment for what's happening and that gives us the ability to, that actually gives us a few advantages in life. And so I want to talk through those advantages, not just in life, but in fitness. So what happens in, over the course of a workout is we tend to get bored and we tend to check out. So yeah, we might play some loud music, but you know, that is what it is. What's more important, guys, is that when I'm able to be present in the moment, I'm able to focus on the task at hand. Why is that important? Oftentimes, CrossFit has a lot of different skill aspects, right? We're learning high-level gymnastics, we're learning high-level um, uh, lifting techniques, and all of that might be fine and dandy. But what about those workouts where it's just straight cardio? And so, as a coach, I have that opportunity to kind of check out myself. I could just cheer you on, or I can check in with you give you some opportunity to check in with yourself and start to really focus on the things that matter when it comes to cardio, which is what's going on inside my body? Where am I feeling discomfort? What's going on with my breathing? And am I in a panic breathing state where I'm hyperventilating, where I'm breathing <laughs> too fast, which can happen when we get anxious and when we're not present in the moment because we're anticipating, can I keep this pace up any longer? And so we start to question and doubt ourselves, and then that starts to kind of seep in. And so there's a self-defeating premise there. And so in order to get rid of self-defeating premise, there's a practice of being present in the moment. And whether that's a five-minute workout or a 40-minute workout, or dare I say, if you're an endurance athlete and you're doing something like uh, a triathlon or a marathon, and this is a three-hour endeavor, there's going to be times where we want to check out, but there's going to be times where we need to be present and we need to be conscious of what's going on inside our body. Um, and so there's a lot of tremendous value in being able to be present in the moment. And there's some peace that comes with that. So a couple of things that can kind of ground us with that might be our breath. And so four seconds on the inhale, one, two, three, four, four seconds evenly on that exhale, it's important to visualize the heart. And it's that visualization alongside our breath that allows us to bring that heart rate down and, and then begin to perform more effectively. Additionally, you can use that in the workplace. If somebody triggers you, if somebody goes, you know, gives you a hard time and you want to get upset, four seconds in, four seconds out, you can apply that to any relationship that you might have in life. Uh, and I hope that you find that to be effective. Breathing, in addition to what's going on, having compassion for yourself uh, and being proud of yourself for enduring these workouts or enduring whatever you are in those relationships uh, is so important. And being grateful for the lesson as opposed to resenting the difficulty. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense for you guys and I hope that it brings value to your life both inside and outside the gym and that's Mental Health Monday uh, with Coach Tyler.